What's going on you guys, it's Ginger on Wheels here. Thanks for stopping by the channel again where we get to test and unbox the latest electrically wheeled gadgets. Today's video is gonna be about the Dualtron Storm. The scooter only has about 370 miles on it and it's got a creaky stem. So I'm gonna roll the intro and then show you how to fix it. So the time right now is 5.32. The Seattle Saturday night ride starts in two hours and it's 20 miles away from here. So I need to fix this scooter because it's the only thing I have with the amount of range I need to complete the ride and then ride it over to Seattle. So from what I understand and what I can hear, the creaking is coming from here. Listen to this. It uh, happens when you wiggle the bars. It's really loud, it's obnoxious, and you can definitely hear it while you're riding. Like I said, it only has 300 miles on it. It's pretty surprising coming from one of the top scooter brands, but here we are. So I'm gonna take these two screws out and take these two bolts out and completely remove that assembly and then pull the stem out of this little collar piece. All right, so I've got my size five hex wrench and this looks like a 10 millimeter wrench here. And I'm just gonna take these two bolts off. Very tight. Ooh, smells like burning metal. That's how tight. <laughs> I thought that making them tighter would make them less squeak less, but that was not the case. Ooh, also very, very tight. So now I should just be able to pull this guy out. Oh, I guess we gotta fold the scooter a little bit to get some slack in the cables. So I will release the collar mechanism, fold it down, and then and get this out of here. Yep, that comes right out. Okay, cool. So I'm guessing there are just um, pieces of metal shavings, dirt and debris inside of this tubey hole. And hopefully once I clean this out, it will squeak no more. So let's see what happens. First, I'm just gonna use a degreaser and wipe this whole thing down, get all the grease off. I'm also gonna uh, take some time and clean off this clamp area a little bit. Okay, and once I'm fairly confident that I've got this part, the inner part of here, and then this latching section cleaned, I'm gonna take some silicone lubricant, WD-40-ish type stuff, and just lube up the whole area. I guess another alternative is to put like marine grease in here. But that's expensive and I don't have it right now, so we're using this. I'll lube the whole area up real nice. That's what she said. I'm gonna take these screws and nuts and bolts that I took out of here and clean these off too, just for the heck of it. Moment of truth, does the scooter still squeak? Yes, yes it does. Well, that's super depressing that thing still squeaks, but I think I found out why. I think I have a theory that this collar piece is rubbing and grabbing on this lower piece here because I can see there is a point here and a point here where the paint and the finish is completely worn off this bottom bezel. So I'm guessing because the clamp is clamped around that part, when I pull, it's scraping along these two front parts. So I'm gonna try and put some actual grease on here and see what that does. Also, maybe I can tighten that down more. Sweet, so I did it. Check this out. We still have a little bit of clicking coming from the rear suspension. I can adjust that later, but the front bezel piece here, no more squeaking. I'm wiggling it back and forth. What I had to do was clean that front bezel piece really well. And then I squirted grease down the top piece here. And I'm guessing grease ran down the front of the collar and now it's not rubbing in that, that front, the front, um, I don't know what you want to call it. There were two spots that were very clearly worn down from this thing rubbing on them. So. I tightened this as tight as I actually possibly could. I'd used tools to tighten these two clamps and then I covered this whole thing in grease and cleaned it and now the uh, noise is gone. So I think the first thing I would recommend doing if you have that noise is just try and tighten this more. Yes, I'm so happy it's gone. We've got 82 volts right now. Seattle Saturday Night Ride is in. I gotta be there in like an hour. So let's charge this thing up. Right over to Seattle and do the Saturday night ride. Heck yeah, thank you, baby Jesus. 
Just kidding. The rear squeaking wasn't another project. Uh, all I did just now, sprayed some grease in here, a couple of greases squirts down in here in this little hole where the whole thing clearly pivots back and forth. A little bit of grease in there and the scooter doesn't squeak at all now. So completely fixed as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna charge this bad boy up and go for a nice long ride.